So is this combat part two, the old masters. Hey, I remember her back in the good old days. Feels like a lifetime Where's ago. Where's your creepy grandpa? He's my uncle, and he's not here. And he's not creepy. <laughs> I see you worked things out with your girlfriend. I'm not, not, not my girlfriend. girlfriend. They really packed in the Zutara in the last couple episodes here. Mm, he's nowhere. What is going on? Who is it? What is it? Where are we, Momo? Yeah. Oh, it's a real head scratcher. See ya. Helpful. Thanks for your help. Helpful. Yeah. There's only one other person in this world who can help us face the Fire Lord. You saved your uncle's friend. Is it Iroh? Yes. I was waiting for him to come back. Oh, man. Is that? Whoa! They're all here! Nice! Zhang Zhang! Finally! I've been waiting for him to come back. I love Zhang Zhang. I don't know why. <laughs> Everyone expects me to take the Fire Lord's life, but I just don't know if I can do that. Fire Lord Sozin took advantage of my restraint and mercy. If I had been more decisive, and acted sooner, I could have stopped Sozin and stopped the war before it started. Yeah, so this is a, this is something I've been confused about for a while. Because I remember back in the day, Roku talked about his mistake. Like, he talked about the war as if it was his fault. But then we saw the backstory and he didn't really do anything wrong. Is it that he, sh he feels like he should have killed Sozin? Because that to me doesn't seem like a big mistake. He died from a volcano, which is a nat natural disaster. Up until that point, he was doing everything he needed to do to keep Sozin in check. So I'm not really sure what Roku would have done differently or what he expects Aang to do. I offer you this wisdom, Aang. You must be decisive. Doesn't really help. He knows he has to be decisive. But how about a hug for your new grandfather? So exciting! You and Grand Grand must be so happy to have found each other again. I made her a new betrothal necklace and everything. What the heck? Welcome oh, okay. to the family, Grand Grand. You can still just call me Paku. Grand Paku! He's never liked Sokka. And this was Aang's first firebender. Jong Jong, the man Jong himself. Jong. A call went out that we were needed for something important. I roll the Fire Nation. Well, that's who we're looking for. Then we'll take you to it. Wait. Someone's missing from your group. Someone very important. Where's Momo? Momo? <laughs> Called it. In my day, Jin the Conqueror threatened to throw the world out of balance. So she killed him. I stopped him, and the world entered a great era of peace. She didn't really kill him though, if I remember correctly. He just kind of didn't run away, and then he fell. You didn't really kill Jin. Technically, yeah. he fell to his own doom yeah, because that's he was too saying. stubborn to get out of the way. Right. I offer you this wisdom, Hang. Only justice will bring peace. Mm, I like that better than Roku's advice. There I was, back in Omashu, waiting for just the right moment. An eclipse! That'll do it! <laughs> I love how he's just biding his time. Payback time! I like how we get some boomy closure, boomy revenge. That's great. Can we get a slide ride one last time for good measure? Yeah, there it is. One last slide ride. Damn, nice closure for boomy. I like it. He's doing some hard work right now. I am Avatar Kuro. I was always a go with the flow kind of avatar. But then I lost the woman I loved to code. The face Ooh, we saw her! I remember thinking, who is that woman? Weird. Wow, that's crazy they brought that all the way back. So many super delayed payoffs in this show. Like, Ko was a long time ago. If I had been more attentive and more active, I could have saved her. You must actively shape your own destiny and the destiny of the world. Yeah, it's all a little bit vague, but they're all kind of saying the same thing, which is that you have to act. Which, it's not super specific advice, it's not super helpful. Maybe part of what they're getting at, or at least the advice I think is good for him, based on what they're saying, is to get out of his own way a little bit, to stop sitting there ruminating in all the different possibilities and what's the right call, the perfect right call. Just do it. Fight the Fire Lord. Trust your instincts, trust your abilities, trust in your friends. 
I think he can't like pre-plan the way it's gonna go. There's just too many variables. He's got, he just has to show up. He's a good person. He's trained hard, both his bending and also his mind. You know, he's done that whole training with Patik, and he's freed up a lot of things in himself to be a good person and act reasonably and intelligently. But I'm very interested to see where they're taking this because I guess Aang's gonna have some kind of epiphany based on what they're saying. Where is he? Your uncle's in there, Prince Zuko. I've been waiting for this. My uncle hates me, I know it. No. He loved me and supported me in every way he could. And I still turned against him. He understands. You're sorry for what you did, right? More sorry than I've been about anything in my entire life. Then he'll forgive you. He will. It's a small touch, but I really like that Katara's there to comfort Zuko. It shows how far they've come, and also it's Katara doing what she does best. Being loving, supporting people emotionally, you know, she's really good at that. Uncle. Just make him some tea and everything will be fine. All these past avatars. They keep telling me I'm gonna have to do it. They don't get it. They're not telling you, right. you have to kill them. They're just telling you you have to be decisive, which is different. All life is sacred. I know, I'm even a vegetarian. I've always tried to solve my problems by being quick or clever. And I've only had to use violence for necessary defense. Except for that one buzzard fly bee thing. That thing didn't make it. But this isn't about you. This is about the world. Selfless duty calls you to sacrifice your own spiritual needs and do whatever it takes to protect the world. Wow, this is crazy. I find myself bristling at this. Like, I don't like it. I don't like their advice. Well, that's the wrong way to put it. I think their advice probably is sound advice for them. But I think the fact that Aang doesn't like it is advice in itself, you know? If everyone tells you to do something a certain way and you hate that idea, then you're closer to having an answer because you know what to avoid. Aang's challenge is to find out how to do the right thing while also being true to himself. I think there is no right thing for him just blindly listening to the advice of others and doing what they tell him he has to do because they did it. It might have worked for them. I trust in Aang. I trust his instincts. I think he'll do the right thing for both himself and the world. And I think the evidence of that is that he cares this much. I mean, look at him. He's suffering, trying to do the right thing. Aang's showing a couple of really good qualities here. First of all, he's showing a lot of humility. He accepts that he doesn't know. He's seeking help. That's a difficult thing to do. That's a rare thing to do. I think most people would be like, just kill Ozai, you know? Aang is aware that there are problems there. And so he's willing to do battle with himself to try to figure that out. And that's... That's respectable. Just the fact that he is that way already and that he's looking so hard to find a good solution for everyone means he's probably ready to just show up and do it. Forget I these avatars. I don't have a choice, Momo. I have to kill the Fire Lord. Yeah, again, that's not really what they said. <laughs> they just said you have to decide. You gotta decide for yourself. You can't just listen blindly to their advice, even if they are the avatars. <sighs> Yay! Finally. Reunion. I've been waiting for Uncle, this. Uncle, I know you must have mixed feelings about seeing me. No. But I want you to know. I am so, so sorry, Uncle. I am so sorry and ashamed of what I did. I don't know how I can ever make it up to you, but I... Oh. How can you forgive me so easily? I was never angry with you. I was sad because I was afraid you lost your way. I did lose my way. But you found it again. And you did it by yourself. And I am so happy you found your way here. It wasn't that hard, Uncle. You have a pretty strong scent. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was so nice. That was way better than I expected. I'm glad they gave that to us. They could have just glossed over it, but I was really hoping for that. It's something special, you know, the two of them. I sympathize so strongly with both of their struggles, you know. You have Zuko who just needs the chance to find himself. He just needs the, the space to overcome the trauma, and he's only gonna do that through his own journey, his own exploration. He needed to work things out for himself with his own hands, with his own experience. Iroh was outside of it looking down, and he could see the pain that Zuko was going through, and he could also see the answer for Zuko. But he couldn't directly give it to Zuko because it's something Zuko had to find for himself. And I know both feelings. I know both sides. I know the feeling of getting good advice and it meaning nothing because it's just words. Real wisdom is something lived and experienced. It's not something just believed. And so Zuko couldn't just get that from Iroh 
telling him what the truth was. And I also know what it feels like to see someone's problems and want so desperately to help them fix them because you care about them and love that person, but you have to just let them go through it and just wait for them at the other side. And it's such a beautiful thing that it worked because it doesn't always work. You know, sometimes as Zuko, you end up not getting the answers you need. And as Iroh, you, you end up watching the person fall through the cracks and wishing you had done more. And so it's so special that they found each other at the end, you know, the end of that long journey. They're both there. Iroh never left and Zuko was always going to find his way back. Very touching moment. I'm so grateful that that was in there. I was worried that they would gloss over that, but that was everything I wanted and more. Is it just me? Or are those mountains getting bigger? They're not getting larger, they're getting closer! Is it a turtle? The biggest animal in the world! Yeah. I've gotta swim around and find its face! It's a turtle all the way down. Is there something in mythology like that? Like a turtle, a giant tortoise with a forest on its back? I know there's the Pokemon, Torterra, but I feel like it must be from something. I wonder what the origin of that is. You're the only person other than the Avatar who can possibly defeat the Father Lord. You mean the Fire Lord? Father Lord. <laughs> That's what I just said. Mm-hmm. Even if I did defeat Ozai, it would be the wrong way to end the war. History would see it as just more senseless violence. Right. Someone new must take the throne. Zuko. An idealist with a pure heart and unquestionable honor. Zoom in on Zuko. It has to be you, Prince yeah. Zuko. But I've made so many mistakes. Yes, you have. But you have always followed your own path. You restored your mm -hmm. own honor. Mm -hmm. And only you can restore the honor of the Fire Nation. It's so good to have Iroh back. I missed him. I had a vision that I would one day take Ba Sing Se. My destiny is to take it back from the Fire Nation. Wow. So the Earth Kingdom can be free. That's so nice. You must return to the Fire Nation so that when the Fire Lord falls, you can assume the throne and restore peace. But Azula will be there waiting for you. Mm -hmm. I can handle Azula. Mm -hmm. So the play was foreshadowing a little bit. Aang will fight Ozai and Zuko has to handle Azula. Katara, how would you like to help me put Azula in her place? It would be my pleasure. We need to do everything we can to stop the airship fleet. When Aang does face the Fire Lord, We'll be right there if he needs us. Good job being decisive, gang. <laughs> After I reconquer Ba Sing Se, I'm going to reconquer my tea shop. Yeah, the Jade Dragon. And I'm going to play Pai Show every day. Sounds good. A lion turtle. I remember they mentioned lion turtles at some point, but I don't remember in what context. It's bothering me. Maybe you can help me. Everyone. Even my own past lives are expecting me to end someone's life. But I don't know if I can do it. The true mind can weather all the lies and illusions without being lost. The true heart can tough the poison of hatred without being harmed. The true mind can weather all lies and illusions without being lost. The true heart can tough the poison of hatred without being harmed. I think the idea is if you really understand these emotions in yourself, you can then understand others and you can sympathize with others and you've just lowered some of the boundaries between yourself and, and other human beings. But also it allows you to be more selective about how deeply they touch you. It seems like being able to step outside of yourself and looking down at your qualities, you know, seeing your anger, your hatred, your capacity for evil, that somehow protects you from them a little more. So if you really explore anger and see anger as just something that you can be at times, you kind of sever the essential link between yourself and being an angry person. I think there is something helpful about looking at it that way, where you can touch it and play with it and really try to get a deep understanding of what that is without letting it touch your core. It's like an unraveling of the negative traits from your self-identity. I think that's partly... The idea behind meditation is to just observe yourself, you know, kind of detach a little bit from those things as a part of yourself. They're just traits that you sometimes can experience. They're not part of your core identity. Since beginningless time, darkness thrives in the void, but always yields to purifying light. Darkness lives in the void, but always yields to purifying light. I have less to say about that. <laughs> the turtle was just in the right place at the right time, huh? There it is. Oh, okay. That's the end of this. But the next part will be tomorrow, so I'll see you then.